I just love architecture and think it would be so fun to have the resources to just play for years. I think it was 40-some years of his life that he employed Julia Morgan and played with building this place. Last night was more eventful than I would have preferred. I found two different listings in the Days End directory for boondocking spots in Cayucas. And I couldn't find the first one. The second one is gorgeous. It's up on the reservoir. And I got here right before sunset. Got a great picture of that. Got all tucked in. It's, there's no cell service at all, uh, Verizon or AT&T. Uh, went to bed around 10. And then at 1, I heard footsteps and then voices, and then the knock on the door. Um, the sheriff uh, was checking in on me, and uh, so when I um, got my window rolled down enough to talk to him, I asked, you know, oh, am I not supposed to stop here? And um, he said, well, technically no. Are you just traveling through? Um, he was super nice, really chill. Um, so he let me stay the night. Um, did find out from him that Highway 1 is closed, so that was a good thing about talking to the sheriff at 1 o'clock in the morning. It was really hard to get back to sleep after that, though. Um, so I'm going to get ready and head over to San Simeon. Um, the Highway 1 is open to San Simeon, but closed above that. So I'm going to go to Hearst Castle this morning. I'm so excited. I just got done at the visitor center of Hearst Castle buying my tickets. I have a ticket to Designing the Dream, which is the 75 minute tour, and then I also have a ticket to the evening tour that's at 610. So between tours, I'm going to um, go find a place to camp tonight. I'll probably do a campground so that I have a shower and the ability to dump my, t my gray tank because it's been a while and it needs to be dumped. I could spend all day here and I'm going to today, um, but my kids not so much. So part of this whole grand adventure is to go and explore deeper the places that I've been before and find new places to explore as well. I'm ready for my 10 o'clock tour. <laughs> You took the front seat. That's my favorite. Train, you could take a plane, you could take a car. Nobody took a car because the one freeway was unpaved. Julia Morgan said if you want to break every bone in your enemy's body, take them for a ride between Cayucas and Cambria and that'll do it. The only antique piece here is this beam right over here that they use for inspiration. Uh, this is a 16th century Italian beam. Again, probably from an old building or an old private castle or what have you that he bought. He liked the beam and he wanted to incorporate more of the style into the room. So if you look at the window moldings, they look just like that beam. Nightlight done by a female sculptress and it's called Cupid Jail. What happens is uh, by the time uh, the 30s come, like I said, financial problems, it was actually Marion Davies that helps float him along. Um, his son called Marion Davies and said, if we don't get a million dollars right away, Papa's going to go under. Marion Davies got the million dollars and floated him until the 40s where he got back in good financial standing. This William Hearst private bedroom includes a sitting room. He never stayed here. <laughs> Our fabulous tour guide Elaine. Boy, oh, that was so cool going through, going to the fourth floor and um, seeing where William Randolph Hearst um, had 
designed his own sleeping area. The grounds are just incredible. The, I love the oak trees and especially the edible fruit trees. The last time I was here, um, I'm not sure how long ago it was. It was probably a good 12 years or so. And they didn't allow you to just wander around the grounds. And so this is a special treat. I'm so excited to just explore and see the outdoor architecture in addition to the indoor architecture. I truly don't think I could have picked a better day to come here. The weather is gorgeous. Got a million dollar view here. One of the hypotheses of why he kept building was um, to house all of his artwork. And you can see that there's just artwork everywhere. He was quite the collector. I'm enamored by the details that the architect Julia Morgan put in place. The way the bench and the step mirror each other. Here they are working on the Neptune pool. Our tour guide told us that the same company that originally provided the marble is still in business and they're still creating marble from the same quarry. So the replication of this pool ends up being a lot easier than it would otherwise be. The fuchsias are just outrageous. And this walkway, all of these walkways are just so beautiful. It's such a great example of excellent landscape architecture. Time for my evening tour. Well, actually I'm still early. I'm gonna walk into the visitor center though and um, wait there because it's kind of like getting to the airport. Um, I always like to get there way early. We're all here in 1936. We would be seeing the exact same thing you're seeing today. Empty and under construction. Oh, really? We're just finishing. Yeah, and come on in. You're welcome. Spread out. Looks like there's only one cocktail left. So I'm on the evening tour and they have docents dressed and acting like they're in 1931. This is Aaron, our fabulous tour guide. Hi! <laughs> Here we have some more guests in the library, which is right at the end of the hall for uh, what would be my bedroom as a single lady. There's no one desk because he didn't work like that. He had all 28 newspapers driven or flown out here every single day. And he would read every paper cover to cover to make sure they put in the paper what he told them to put in the night before. So he would spread those papers out along the floor. His, one of his grandsons that used to live here with him for a little while, while his parents were getting a divorce, his uh, grandson remembered coming up and seeing his grandpa move or at work and move amongst the papers with his feet. And he would flip the pages of his newspaper with his toes. And he would have a really long stick with a red pencil taped at the end where he would circle the things he liked and cross out the things he didn't like. But to have somebody be reading every paper cover to cover, um, that's a little bit of a micromanager. So here is the bedroom that William Hurst actually stayed in, as opposed to the one we saw in the North Wing earlier today. And truly, it's just more excuses to house the artwork. Here's Marion Davis's. Sweet into her bedroom. Here's her bathroom <laughs> with soft soap at the sink. That's not right. I just got off the tour bus for the evening tour. Absolutely incredible. If you do only one tour here at the Hearst Castle, definitely do an evening tour. That is my tour of the Hearst Castle. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Joni with the Galavan.
enjoy your journey.